Good morning, it's Mary O'Toole from the LightWithinWellness.com. It's Monday, November 27, 2017. And in the U.S., it's the Monday after a long weekend. <clears throat> Excuse me, we had Thanksgiving on Thursday, so a lot of people were off and traveling. So today might feel a bit challenging. <clears throat> you might feel a little... Um, low energy and slow moving and the last thing you want to do is focus on work so let's help you get clear about your intention and your get yourself focused get yourself clear today transition from your weekend to your week and, and maybe become clear on your goal for the week for this week so don't let it be um, a drain a drag let your Monday be productive it's a new opportunity for a new week. It's a new day. It's, um, you can create anything you want. So <clears throat> let's get going here. So let's begin. First, if you can, close your eyes and allow your body to relax as much as you can. If you find that closing your eyes doesn't feel good, gaze at the tip of your nose. You just want to have a focus point. Now tune in to how does your body feel today? Are you feeling tired and sluggish? Are you feeling energized and excited and focused? Is there any part of the body that's achy that you're noticing more than any other part of the body? Maybe you're noticing your shoulders are holding tight, so allow those areas to soften, to relax. Now notice where your mind is taking you. Are you off creating 50 million things all at once, or are you focused on one thing? So allow yourself today to focus on one thing and do that one thing to completion. So today, what is your main focus? What is it that you really need to get done, do, be, have today? What's your main focus for today, Monday? Bring that to mind. What do you have to really complete? And what steps do you need to take in order to do that? Now, as you look at the week ahead, is there one goal, task, project that you really want to complete this week? And imagine it's Friday and you've completed that project, that task, that goal. How would that make you feel? So let's come back to today. What steps can you take today in order to be successful and complete that project by the end of the week? Now what is your focus for today? You can pick one, two, or three, but not 50 all at once. What's your main focus today? Create an intention for your day. What's your intent? Now take a deep breath in with that intention in mind. And exhale, let it go. Take a deep breath in with that intention in mind. Exhale, let it go. Perfect. That's your intent set for today. So I encourage you to write it down. Write your intent down, write your focus for today down, and focus for the week. I encourage just having one big, one 
task or project or one focus point that you really want to complete. You have to have it complete today or for your week you have want it to be complete by Friday if you work Monday through Friday or if your week is Monday through Friday. So write it down after this and be clear about it and don't put it somewhere where you can see it. So don't like create an intention for the week and then you forget about it. You want to come back to it and breathe into it. So put it somewhere that you are going to remember. And if it's a project where there's multiple steps, write down what's my first step. Write it all down for yourself so you're not always in your head and figuring out in your head. At least if it's on paper you can see it. So hopefully that will help you to stay focused today. <clears throat> so I pulled an affirmation card for us and the card is Love is my teacher. Love is my teacher. And the message with that is think of some think of someone you cared for deeply. That could be a child, that could be a spouse, a loved one. Ask love to show you how to make a relationship sweeter and more loving. So let's do that now. Take a, close your eyes again and take a deep breath. Maybe put your hands in your heart. So if you get to the feeling of love, if you think about someone you really love, whether it's a child, a spouse, significant other, get to that feeling of love and ask that feeling of love, how can you make the relationship sweeter and more loving? Allow your heart to open and take a deep breath. So how can you make that relationship sweeter and more loving? That could be a work relationship too. That could be friendships. Open your heart. I'm going to read that message again from our affirmation card. Love is my teacher. Think of someone you care for deeply. Ask love to show you how to make your relationship sweeter and more loving. And that's your affirmation for today. If you missed the first piece of this video, go back and listen. Um, it's got good information today. All right, we'll have a productive day. And remember, one task to its completion. And if you have a big project or a task you want to complete for the week, write down what steps you need to take. And what can you do to towards that task today? Write it down, put it in a place where you see it all day, every day, and so you can remember it and go for that goal. All right? Have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.